We're told here is the graph of a quadratic function f. All right. Write the equation that defines f in standard form. So pause this video, have a go at this before we do this together. All right, now let's work on this together. So before we even get to standard form, I'm going to think about what would the equation that defines f look like in factored form, in general factored form. So we would have f of x is equal to some constant or some, some factor, I guess we could say a, times x minus m times x minus n, where m and n are each the x values that would make this function 0. Because if x is equal to m, well then this is going to become 0. 0 times everything else is 0. Or if x is equal to n, n minus n is 0. So everything else is going to be equal to 0. And we know what those values are by looking at this graph and looking at the x-intercepts. The, the x values that make the function equal 0. We can see that right over here. When x is equal to 4, the value of our function is 0. We have an x-intercept there. And we also see when x is equal to negative 8, that's the other x-intercept. And the function f of negative 8 is also equal to 0. So now we could say that f of x is equal to a times, and then we have here, x minus negative 8 times x minus 4. Now the next thing we have to worry about is how do we figure out a? Well, one way to do this is to just multiply everything out over here. At least multiply, we'll start off by multiplying this part out. And then we could say, well, what value of a would get us the right y-intercept so that f of 0 is equal to 8. So let's just multiply this all out. So this is going to be equal to, I'll leave the a here. Now, x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. And then, let's see, we have, we're subtracting a negative 8. So let's just make this the same thing as adding a positive 8. And so then we have 8 times x is 8x, and then positive 8 times negative 4 is negative 32. And so this is equal to a times x squared minus 4x, sorry, we're going to have minus 4x plus 8x. So if we combine these two terms, we're going to have plus 4x, 8x minus 4x is positive 4x. And then we have minus 32. Now we can multiply everything by a. This is going to be equal to a x squared plus 4ax, and then minus 32a. This is what f of x is going to be equal to. Now what would f of 0 be equal to? Well, if I take f of 0, all of these terms with an x in it, a times 0 squared is 0, 4a times 0 is 0. So we would just be left with this negative 32a negative 32a. All I did is say, all right, when x is 0, these first two terms right over here are going to be equal to 0. So you're just going to be left with negative 32a. But we also know when f is, or when x is equal to 0, f of 0 is 8. We see that from the graph. So this is equal to 8. And so we could use this to solve for a. Divide both sides by negative 32. Let's do that. Negative 32 negative 32, and we get a is equal to 8 over 32 is the same thing as 1 over 4, so this is negative 1 fourth. So now we can substitute that back into this expression, or this equation, I guess is, we could say, and we get f of x is equal to ax squared. We now know that a is negative 1 fourth, so negative 1 fourth x squared, and then we have plus 4 times a times x. Well, 4 times negative 1 fourth is negative 1. So this is all going to become negative 1 times x. So this is going to be minus x. And then last but not least, negative 32 times negative 1 fourth is going to be equal to positive 8. And we can verify again that when x is equals when x equals 0, our function is indeed equal to 8. But we are done. 
we have written this equation now in standard form. We started with general factored form. We used the x-intercepts to figure out what m and n are. Then we used the y-intercept to figure out what a is. And when we multiplied everything out, we got it in standard form.